what we found is the ability or the inability to, um, to, 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 to use online tools actually determines the success or failure of your business. So they're directly correlate, correlated. So she means business is going to help fill that gap to help this woman turn their um, business ideas into reality. So um, we believe that when women win, the economy win. Women are key drivers to the success of the economy. So focusing on female businesses, helping them to help their business grow, I believe will impact Nigeria in a big way. So when we look at women, women give back. Women focus on building the community. So when we help these women to grow, we believe that the economy grows and it impacts the GDP in Nigeria. Women are key to the success of the economy, so it's exciting times. And I think, you know, um, we're going to see a lot of impact driven in different sectors. You know, what we've seen on our, in our research is that, you know, um, women are interested in the food and drink sector, in the um, events space, you know. So, so, so they're doing great things, you know, thinking out of the box. And, you know, we've seen a, gro a huge growth on our platform of um, female businesses, um, business pages. And um, yeah, so I think this time is really the right time to really empower these businesses um, for sustainable growth of their business. So young women across Lagos, Aba, Abuja, Ibadan, Kaduna, Port Harcourt can start to sign up for these free trainings. So we'll be kicking them off in May and every single week we'll be in a new city. Anyone is able to sign up and join. You don't have to have a business to sign up. So if you just have an idea and you want to use digital to help you grow, you can sign up for this training. And we'll be kicking off uh, right away with our fantastic trainers. We have more than 25 all across the country. And we're excited to take these learnings, take these trainings, take these opportunities to women all across the country. And of course, see how we can continue to improve and see what are the areas that they need help with um, and continue to refine the training process as well. But one thing that we're interested in doing is seeing, of course, how can we tell these stories? Because part of it is to show people the value of online. And sometimes you have to have those examples. So you have to have women who've done it before who can say, okay, you know, I had this small business and this is what I was able to do it with it. And if we're able to use those stories to inspire other women, then it'll make it seem more reasonable. It'll make sense to them as to why they should look at online as a way to grow their business. This initiative if followed to the letter by participants, will no doubt open a plethora of opportunities for women entrepreneurs, empower them, and put them at the right standing to contribute to Nigeria's economy. Well, there you go. That's how the cookie crumbled at that event. But we're now being joined by someone who is actually using social media to run her business. Amomi Kolaoli joins us on the program. Now, it's a pleasure to have you on the program. Hello, Victor. Hi. <laughs> All right, so let's, let's begin with how social media has helped run your business. Okay. Um, looking at it from the perspective of, I started this business like 18 months ago, and it has helped a lot because my business is basically online. I don't have a physical store. And sometimes people look at the progress over time, and they are wondering how I have managed like, with time. But basically, I think that the, because of the modern technologies and how everybody literally has a smartphone now, so it's easier for you to, like, instead of having to go through the traditional marketing route, you can just use digital media. It's cheaper, it's easier to reach your audience, and then mostly you don't have to do the, okay, I need a committee to do this and that for me to bring out this banner or these designs. It's on the go. You can, things like hashtag can make your business or whatever your post is go viral in minutes and before you know it. But you just need to know how to channel all these things. So that's the thing. How do you channel all these things? Okay. Um, from my understanding, I, I know that um, different platforms have different um, outreach or there's a way you can reach people or talk to people on different platforms. The way you communicate with people on Twitter, for example, is different from how you talk to people on Facebook and it's different from how you talk to people on Instagram. So those are the three um, platforms that I focus on even though I use WhatsApp, so anyway. But um, I feel like, basically, if you know your target audience and you know who you're talking to, so communicating with them would be easier because you know who exactly you're talking to. So you just need to speak the language that they understand, basically. So what are the challenges? I mean, it can't just be a stroll in the park. Uh, no, right? of course not. So oh, no. what, what challenges lie therein? Okay, um, several months ago, 
um, I realized that um, there were some posts that you put up on Instagram and replicate the same thing on Twitter, and you won't get any interactions on them. Whatsoever. Then it, yes. Then it took me um, a while to understand that the mode of communication on these platforms are different. So, for example, on Twitter, people are easy to talk to you, to interact with you, even personal handles, brands, and they're easy to, to communicate with that particular or interact with a particular post than it is for Instagram. So it's easier for somebody to put up a post and say, okay, um, hashtag what I'm doing right now, or join a trend, and then people can relate and say, oh, yes, I can see, I can showcase mine too. It's easier that way than it is on Instagram. So I had to like study these platforms and understand them to be able to channel the posts to reach people that I wanted them to reach. And yes, it works. <laughs> I can I, I can imagine. Yeah, so so one of the one of the um, issues is the fact that you know um, there was this research that was done not too long ago where they said women businesses will unlock about 19 billion um, naira for Nigeria's economy, which I think the economy needs at the moment. But you know it's a projection looking at five years um, from now. But do you think that is actually going to happen? I mean, yes, it will. It will. I feel like women are business. Um, women are well. I'm a woman and I know what I do for my business, mm -hmm. basically. So I feel like a lot of women um, are tilting towards entrepreneurship more than men are. And um, for some reason, most of the friends I even have or most of the um, brands that I interact with for one reason or the other are, tend to be women. And it's like it's, there's a driving force. There are a lot of platforms, like there are a lot of um, forums for women like you can come around. And then because we have a lot of people advocating for women these days, it's easier to say, I'm, I'm training a set of women to do this. I'm training a set of women to do that. I don't know if there are people doing that generally or doing that for men. So for example, Wimbiz. So when, if you look at that platform now, it's an annual conference for women in business generally. So people from all walks of life will come and um, interact with them. You teach them what they need to know. You, when you see somebody who wants to do something for free and say, okay, I want to talk to a certain level of or this amount, amount of women um, about something or I want to train them or I would like to train them. Mm. And then of recent, the people that have approached me to talk about business on how they can take their business to the market, um, next level or how they can manage social media or how it has worked for me so far, they have been women. Women are industrious. Well, you know, I, yeah, well, I, I would agree with you on that. But when you look at the Sustainable Development Goals, the fifth one is gender equality. And that's yeah, exactly. because, look, so the UN is saying that because, you know, with women um, running businesses, you know, it brings us closer to sustainable development. Yeah, right. But, yeah, we'll talk about that in a moment. But just hold on. Okay. We'll take a quick break and right. we'll be back shortly. Please stay with us.